let's start to have a look at the part that we have here, the one that uh, you use to focus when you're looking in the binoculars. Um, we want to make this part a black, hot, kind of rough plastic. And um, when doing the initial set of the, ma of the materials, what I like to do is to isolate the part that I'm working on, either by uh, selecting it and like this, and uh, then right click either here or in the tree and go to visibility and say show only. In that way, we get all the CPU power to work only on this part. And if you press H on the keyboard, you get this heads up display where you can see the uh, frames per second, which is like a, a measure of how quick the scene is rendering. And if we right click and say show all parts, uh, note right now it's about 40. If we show all the parts, we are down to, uh, boy, around 10. So it's four times slower right now. And at the moment, we are only interested in this part. So you can get some... Uh, a preview of the material way faster when having this isolated. Uh, a good shortcut to know is uh, if you alt left click on a part, then it's uh, everything else get gets hidden. And then if you want to center the part in the scene, you can hold down alt command and then right click uh, on the spot you want to be the center like this, and that would be Alt, Control, left click, or sorry, Alt, Control, right click on PC. With that said, let's go into the actual material creation. I double click on the part, which brings up this uh, material options for the, for the part, and I want to change the material type to plastic. And I want to have it really black, like a black plastic, cool. Actually, um, to do any further changes, I could do some stuff here in textures, but I like to open up the material graph using the button here. And then I'll rearrange the windows like so, and close down the library and the project window. So, whoops. I could get away with uh, something like this, but I want to add uh, a bit more details to uh, the material. So first of all, I want to add a bump map. And to do that, I right click here in the material graph, go to textures and select a noise texture. Uh, and I drag that into the bump channel. So right now it seems a bit big and to better see uh, what I'm working with, I double click on this uh, note and I hit C on the keyboard to show the color information, the raw color information. So now when I adjust the scaling, I can easily see how big we are. And I think something around 0 0.07 or 8 will do for, for this part. So uh, to get back, I hit uh, X on the keyboard to uh, exit any um, selected notes, and I can see what it, it looks like. Um, I want to have the bump a bit more prominent, and then I can see I want to adjust the scale down to 0 0.03. I think that looks good. Maybe I want to take the height down a bit. don't want it to be too prominent. Uh, I'm adjusting the roughness a bit on the, the main plastic material. And then I want to add in a bit of variation in the diffuse color as well. To do that, I'm going to add in a texture, um, this uh, granite texture. And I double click on it and hit C on the keyboard to see the, the raw color information. I want to change this uh, brown color to white. And um, then I drag that into diffuse and I change the scaling to maybe something like this. Okay, so way too prominent right now. And because I can't change the uh, 
the black color i can't make it any uh, any brighter then i'm going to add in a color gradient in between the the texture and the plastic material and what it does is it's uh, it's remapping the colors coming from here uh, and i'll put it here so what is black is getting red at the moment and what is white is becoming white so if i change this to green for example you can see that everything that is white in the original texture becomes green um but for now i want to stick with some uh, grayscale values maybe with just a hint of color like this and then maybe complete black maybe again with just a hint of uh, of some color very subtle but if you look at the uh, the material and if you want to see the a good enough preview even faster you can uh, control shift r if you hit control shift r or command shift r you get this region view where you can focus all the cpu power to just a very small part of your scene and then it rises up way faster so now we have 70 frames per second whereas before we only have 10 when we have when we are zoomed in this close cool So I think this uh, this works for now, and this is the initial material setup for this sender piece. So right click and show all parts, and uh, let's uh, close the material graph down and proceed with another part.